Hi guys, here's the next update for the Unity Low Poly Game Kit. So far it is possible to hunt and kill the sheep, but now we'll add the feature to turn the dead sheep into food items. First I will disable the NavMesh agent, just for testing, so that we don't have to chase the sheep. And then we are creative and reuse these food items, I call them chicken leg, now I call it sheep leg or leg of lamb. First I drag them onto the sheep object in the hierarchy, so I define them as children of this object. And then I move them below the sheep. Ok, after that I deactivate the sheep legs, so that they are not visible on start. Alright, now I open the sheep script, and first add an array of game objects, to which I will add the food items in the editor later on, that will be visible when the sheep is dead. So what I'm going to implement is that when the sheep is dead, we hide the sheep mesh and the food items will be displayed and are collectible. So we go to the onCollisionEnter method here at this line when we know that the sheep is dead, and we are going to invoke a method that I call showItemsDeadState. I use invoke because I want to call this method after let's say about one second. In this method I loop over the items dead state array and set each item to active. This means they will be visible and interactable. Then I destroy the capsule collider of the sheep object, so that the player isn't colliding with it anymore. Because the sheep will be hidden, we do this in the next step. I get the component skinned mesh renderer of the sheep and set enabled to false. Ok, this was the scripting part, then I go back to the editor and add the sheep leg items to the items dead state array. So here's the first test, I start the game, collect the eggs and use it. And when I hit the sheep now, the die animation is played, the sheep is hidden, the food items appear and we are able to collect them. The script is very flexible, now we added these sheep legs to the item stat state array, but of course you can use any interactable item that you like. Alright, in the end I will enable the navmesh agent again, and then I apply the prefab, so that these modifications are applied to all the sheep. You can see when I select this one now, the item stat state array is available. Ok guys, that's it for the new update. I uploaded the changes for the low poly game kit to the Unity asset store. They are currently in review state, but I guess they will be published in a few days. As you know, the game kit is for free, and I want to keep it available for free, so think about supporting me on my Patreon to help the game kit grow. If you have any ideas for new features for the game kit, please add them to the comments below. If you like this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support, and see you on JNM.